<laughs> Did you get all your letters back? And if so, chatter away. <laughs> all three back, uh, which is a good thing. Very exciting. You know, obviously lose three really good seniors and on the perimeter with Monte Naz and Matt. I mean, that was obviously one of our points of emphasis in this class. This needs to be a good class, you know, for the future of our program. And we're off to a really good start. Uh, Lindell, obviously, really talented. Uh, makes people better, can really score, a great athlete at that position. Uh, I think we're getting more athletic on the perimeter, which is great. Darius McNeil, you know, can play either guard spot, super quick. Uh, a guy that's just going to, he's got a bright future. His upsize, I think, is really, really high. Uh, competitive, another guy, really long arms, lanky, going to really fill into his body. And then Terrence, excited about him. He's a guy that can really, really make shots. Get out, run the wing, put pressure on the defense, but really good size at the wing position. You know, a guy that could, you know, fill in. You know, Nader had a had great size at the three, and Terrence is a, a guy that can get here and, and really fill his body out and become one of those really big wing, you know, offensive and defensive uh, standouts. How critical was that point guard position and then to get somebody with the caliber of an L? It's really, it's, I mean, I think you got to have great guards. And I think we've got, you know, Terrence, I would consider Terrence a, you know, guard slash wing, but I think we've got two really good guards in, in Lindell and Darius. But uh, to get Lindell into our program, you know, going forward is huge. He's a freshman, excuse me, he's a guy that can come on campus day one and, and that's ready to compete physically, uh, mentally, just in the competition that he's used to going against at Oak Hill uh, for the last three years. And, He's a guy that's, when you talk to Coach Smith up there, has gotten better and better over his last three years. And one of his most improved guys that he's coached. And so, really happy with him and excited, you know, to coach him. So, you're starting point guard a year from Friday? Yeah, I, I'm not. I just need to go with all that stuff. <laughs> once, once he committed, how hard did you have to work on it? Because there were people trying to flip him. I mean, right? Yeah, Am I right, right or wrong? I'd right? probably talk to him every day. I don't know if I've missed a day, probably. Yeah. You know, and now he's in the he's in the mountains in Virginia, so he doesn't get much service. So, you know, it's really a text conversation. I probably every day since April, you know, since we first found out about him, heard about him. And, you know, uh, our staff did a great job of, you know, being persistent, uh, building really good relationships with his family. His, his family's great people. Uh, Coach Smith was great in the process, and so you know, we're 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 ecstatic and happy. Were other people trying to flip him? We're trying to get him, I'm sure. I mean, he's a good player. Do you do that uh, too, though? I mean, no. conversely? No, no one's here committed. I don't believe in that. That's not, that's not what this this business should be about. You know, if a kid calls me that's committed, I'm going to tell him you need to, you know, you need to decommit before I start recruiting. I just don't believe in that's how things go. You know, we, we got, you know, we had a situation like that, you know, but I'm going to do things a certain way. The programs I run are going to do things a certain way. How much does this class help you just moving forward in terms of building what you hope to do at Iowa State? I think it's huge. I mean, it's, you know, I think to, to be a great program over the longevity, and this player program over the last five years has had great players. You know, the fifth year guys that's coming here, the transfers, the junior college kids. But when you really look at the mainstays, who do you think about? Melvin Ejim, Niang, Monte Morris, you know, just to name a few. Those guys have been here. Through, through, you know, four or five years to where you get those good high school kids in here that are going to be here and get better and get better and get better. And then you add your, your necessities through the junior college ranks and transfers through fifth year. And so to get good high school players in your program is huge. And now, you know, now we got to go address, uh, you know, we've, Cameron's coming uh, at Christmas and then we've got to go, you know, what this does is hopefully it shows some front court guys, hey, I got a chance to go in and, play with some really, really good guards. In June, you said that you know, maybe it's a little daunting with six college trips. And how much is this lesson that important to get three guys signed early? What do you want now? Well, I think going forward, um, I'm obviously our first uh, is to bring in a couple guys up front that can, that can score, rebound, and defend around the basket and bring some skill up. You know, obviously, we lose some, some good front court players as well. But to get to get the, 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 the really the bulk of the recruiting from the perimeter, done. Uh, you know, we may take a transfer in the spring, things like that. But get the bulk of the recruiting done in that area is, is big. And now our points emphasis all, all go to the front court, whether that's fifth year, whether that's junior college, or whether there's a high school kid, you know, out there that can still come in and help us. Do you anticipate being done in the early 
signing period or uh, one more could pop possibly. Uh, just kind of that? kind of a wait and see. Uh, Am I allowed to say? <laughs> uh, but uh, you follow close enough. I'm sure you know. So uh, you know we, sure we'll we'll wait and see what happens uh, on that. And, but outside of that, that's that's probably we'll probably have a standstill after that and just get ready for the spring. When the kids do commit to you. Do you have a rule that says, okay, you're committed to me, you're not going to make any more visits anywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just kind of the, that's, that's how it should work. That's that's how I, you know, that's why I said once you, you know, don't don't commit, you know, unless you're all in, if you, that's what your heart So wants. if a kid, if you found out a kid, a kid committed to you, but yet you discover that he's visiting, I don't care where, yeah, Louisville, Mississippi, yeah. I don't care where, you're done with it. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I would never say that. Okay. But you know that that's you know I, I don't want to get into too many particulars. But, yeah. Uh, you know recruiting's recruiting, and so you got to recruit to the very end. That's why I'm ecstatic to get these three guys on board and, and get ready to coach them next year. Do the two or three extra scholarships to those who need to be not high school kids just to even out the classes? I, do you I think? Take, like I said, I'd take one more high school front court yeah. guy. Uh, but then I think everything else going forward is from the junior college, fifth year of transfer ranks. Savannah stayed at 23s the other night. Are you expecting a little bit of an up and down game? Yeah, it's a, they, they get up and down. You know, I've watched uh, their exhibition games, uh, you know, playing a lot different than they did last year. Uh, really getting up and down. They press. Uh, they put a lot of pressure on you. They play extremely hard. Horace Broadnax is a, a Georgetown legend. I've, Remember, I grew up watching him play because I lived in North Virginia in, in his heyday. And so we used to actually work camp together. I don't know if he remembers this. I think he does. He probably will. We used to work camp together when I was in college in Florida. I'd see him every summer down there. We'd be working camp together. But uh, So he does a great job. Uh, but they do. They play hard. They're very, very athletic. Uh, they're going to put pressure on you basically the whole game. Uh, we've got to do a good job taking care of the ball, getting back in transition. But the one thing they can do, you watch the ball, you watch tape on them, they can spread you out uh, and they can really make shots. And so we've got to do a good job of keeping the ball in front, but, but at the same point, containing, excuse me, contesting shots. So what are you looking to learn from your team in these first few games here? Just continue to get better, continue to, you know, now we kind of know from this scrimmage, excuse me, this exhibition game, what do we got to continue to work on this week? And keep making strides, get better over the next couple of weeks until we head head down to Florida. And so I think the schedule is great for this team uh, because we do have some youth and some inexperience in some areas to where you got three home games to where you, they can get their legs under them, they can get their confidence, they can get a good comfort level, and then we can continue to adjust and tweak some things over the next couple of weeks. What have you been most pleased with? Uh, I think we're getting better defensively. Uh, you know, it's still hard to tell, but I think just the understanding of the concepts, I think we're getting better. I think we played at the pace we want to play offensively. I think they're starting to understand that. And so, I, I, and then, and then the leadership. I think our seniors have been, you know, been terrific. And so, uh, if they can, if they can continue to have that kind of leadership, and and we can really continue to stress being good defensively and uh, continue growing that area, but then continue to convert quickly from defense to offense, uh, that's the one thing we can do. We can get that ball up the floor in a hurry and we can really make shots. It's one of the hardest things when you start stressing more and more guys behind you more and more to make sure that you know, there's never a practice off. Yeah, that's the thing. You just got to, we got to continue to, you know, we're doing a lot of things differently this year because of our size, uh, athleticism, different things that whether it's picking up, you know, full court, three quarter court, uh, you know, just different things in the half court that we'll do. Uh, you just got to get a ton of reps and make sure we're going full speed so there is no slippage, you know, when we get to the real games. With the Monday game and uh, Naz's brother coming, is that something you guys you try to do in the past with seniors for a game for them? To or, get their brothers up there. <laughs> schedule a game where you, you know, yeah. make doesn't happen somewhere. often. Uh, it doesn't happen often. I don't know if I remember coaching a guy who had another brother in college anywhere at the same time. Uh, you know, obviously at times you'd love to, you know, take somebody back home. Yeah. You know, that that's a scenario, but uh, having a having a meet you long family reunion, that that that's that it's cool for them, you know, and so uh, it'll be be a great moment for his family, his parents. It'll be cool. I'm sure it'll be a little surreal for, for all of them. So uh, but I'm happy to have to experience that. So that wasn't part of your deal in scheduling them seriously? 
was, it, was, it, was to try to get them together? Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think it played a little part of it. I don't do a ton with schedule. Right. It kind of handles that. But, you know, once we started getting the works with that and, yeah. and we knew Naz was going to come back, then it was, uh, hey, yeah, let's go ahead and try to get that game done because it would be a great great experience for Naz. And I think he's really appreciative of it too, which is I think is cool. Well, it's not a perfect metric, but when you look at your defense, can it be like, for Kenton? Be a top 75, a top 50. I mean, what? I mean, do you I just wanted. I tell you what, I wanted to be. I just, I just wanted to try to be. When we get to the Big 12, you know, I, I, instead of being 9, 10, I want to be. Our goal is if we can be, you know, if we can be five. You know, if we can, if we can make those numbers. I know Ken Palm and you know, all those breakdowns, but when you really look at the nuts and bolts, throw Ken Palm out the window. What are you statistically in the league? And if we can just move up, you know, we're not going to go from 9, 10 to, to 1, 2. That's just. That's not going to happen. But if we can get better uh, and move up to that, you know, four, five, six range, and that's going to help our team. It's going to help our offense. Is that uh, frustrating or optimistic that you only, I mean, by just nature of numbers, that you want to be average defensively at five no, and six? Is no, that, no, 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 no. You know what gross. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, is that, but, but you don't have to be amazing. Yeah, we don't have yeah. to be. That that's what yeah. I'm saying for our team. You know, because you know, even if we did. Drop a little bit. Now, last year's offensive, offensively, I mean, that, I mean, we went up in every offensive category you could last year. Everybody, individually, team. I mean, it was lights out. You know, so can we match that benchmark? I don't know. But if we don't, for us to have the same kind of season we want to have, then we got to get better defensively. And that's what I'm saying. If you move, if you move this slide, you move this end up a little bit. If that came down just a little bit, then you're still where you want to be. Throw out Ken Palm on the offensive, like Travis is the question, but the offensive end, where do you, where would you like to rank in the Big 12? You know, we should hopefully still be where we've one, been, one, one, one two, where yeah. we've been in all okay. the categories, hopefully, and that's in, right that's in field goal percentage, that's in assists, that's in, you know, scoring, uh, you know, hopefully we, we can do that, but if we can continue to share the ball, uh, make the extra pass, that's these guys are used to doing that, I think we'll have a chance to do that. Thank you. Right, thanks, thanks Steve.